Yeah. It's a bit of a contrast to the last instant restaurant, though, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> From one extreme to the other. So last instant restaurant, me and Romel did uh, extremely well in the kitchen. We scored four tenths from the judges mm. out of six, which we were very happy about. One thing that Leslie and I noticed was that your aprons were spotless. <laughs> We've got this theory that maybe you had an apron that you put on top of the apron <laughs> and then you took it off, so... You would do what that, did you do? I probably would do that. <laughs> you well, spilled, you didn't think well, of it. I know. <laughs> At Ibi and Ramel's instant restaurant, a lot of questions were brought up and now people are looking for answers. How did the last instant restaurant go? Let's talk about that. Ooh. Let's put it out on the table, go for it. What did you guys think? Your entree was a 10 and you guys told us you don't cook. I Now I now I flat out don't believe you guys, because like, if you don't cook, like, you guys are magicians, like. When we say we don't cook, it doesn't mean we have never cooked. Yeah. We do cook, we just, we're so busy, we don't get the chance to cook all the time. People are getting confused with we don't cook and we don't know how to cook. You have to understand how it looks from the beginning of just being a nurse to then owning yeah, a I restaurant mean, to then I, you I, don't... I, I, wait, I, hold I, on, I, let me finish. Yeah. Let me finish. To then owning a restaurant to then you don't know much about food to then saying I've tasted thousands of dishes, I work closely with my chefs to then... So like, at the, at the end of the night, it was like, mind's yourself. blown, man. We thought yeah, you were just, yeah. a, like, a good-looking nurse. Like, <laughs> but now, like, all this extra stuff comes out. I think Ibi and Ramel should have just said from the beginning. It would have saved themselves a lot of hassle. It would have saved everyone else getting all tense and angry about it. I promise, I promise that I'm, I did you not lie about promise. anything that I said. I entered this competition because I love food, but it doesn't mean that I, I cook. I don't have time to cook. I wish I do have time to cook. I don't. Because honestly, I work about 12 to 14 hours at least six days a week. And when it comes to my seventh day, I'm knackered. It made us feel like they're playing the game and they're playing everyone in the table. At the end, it's a competition. We know how they are playing and we're gonna play back. We just feel like light, that's all. That's but what, what exactly have we still feel so we can clear About like what you said that you didn't cook, that you never cooked that, those dishes. Man, you have cooked. Don't tell me, don't bullshit that you We haven't said that we haven't cooked. We're busy, we don't always cook like you guys do. No, but it's not only me, it's like a lot of people in the table. I'm talking for a lot of people here. This is just going round in circles mm. and in circles. We know that they can cook, we know that, they, mm -hmm. that they're a threat, and that's it, just yeah. own it. To be honest, now I wish I just never told you guys. I genuinely believe that if I don't own cafes and restaurants, we would have scored better by the teams around the table for our cook.